Hi, water sign men. Pisces. <laughs> Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, and South Node men. How the hell are you? I was like, for some reason, Aquarius jumped up into my thoughts to come out and say Aquarius. So some of you may have Aquarius in your chart. And some of you might be dealing with Aquarius, either you or them. But um, this is a general collective for the star signs of Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, and Venus, North Node, and South Node. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope you have been eating, exercising, meditating, doing all the healthy stuff in order to keep your vibrational energies high. Also, um, I'd like to say thank you to all the old and new subscribers. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and welcome, welcome, welcome uh, to my channel. This is Ascended Twin. You can follow me and find me on IG as Ascended Twin 144K. You can also find me on Facebook as Nikita Kelly Ascended Twin, as well as you can find me here on YouTube as Ascended Twin 144K. Please like, follow, subscribe, share with your family and friends. This is a general collective reading, so this will not resonate for every Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, or South Node. But um, time is fluid as we know it, so what may not resonate for you like right now for this reading could resonate a couple of days, a couple of uh couple of hours, couple of weeks, couple of couple of months, you know what I mean? So it just varies. But um, I'm going to run a quick disclaimer. I cuss in my videos. I talk hella shit in my videos. And I don't read like any other reader on YouTube. So if those three things offend you, please click off. Thank you. Also, um, if you have any questions or anything that you want to know about me and my channel, it will be listed in the description box below the video, okay? This is for entertainment purposes only, so please don't make any life-changing or altering decisions based on a general collective. For private info, that will be in the description box below in order to get a reading with me, okay? Also, um, 18 and, um, if you're under 18, stay off my page. No jits allowed. No jits allowed. That what if it's good. If there is anything else that I can think of that needs to go towards the reading, I that I forgot to mention, it'll be said throughout the reading. Okay, so we're gonna get started as soon as I find what the hell I'm looking for. Okay. Oh goodness. All right, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, men, you got the Six of Pentacles, you got the Ace of Cups, you have the High Priestess, and you have the World card, you have the Seven of Pentacles, you have Temperance, you have the Sun card, and you have the Knight of Wands. There are a lot of Major Arcana in your goddamn reading, and at the bottom of the deck, you got the Emperor, so that's one, two, three, four, five. You got five Major Arcana. That's a life major. <laughs> you got some major shit coming down, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Men, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus. Some of y'all could have been in a situation where there was an equal give and take of reciprocity. Somebody was crumbing somebody to, to death. But um, this unequal balance of give and take, um, there were delays and blockages in the situation. It caused uh, financial delays and financial setbacks. This is what I'm feeling. And it's blocking you towards getting towards a union and love because you got a divine counterpart. Already, I already see this shit where it's like, um, you're somewhere in the middle of the world, out of an old situation so you can do your union because union is coming upon you right there. You could be dealing with an Aries or Taurus, or you could have this in your chart, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And this is also for same sex relationships, okay? I'll leave nobody out, I'll discriminate. But there could possibly be a baby in this situation, and I'll clarify that shit in a minute. Um, Archangel Michael is asking you to temper on situations on your wife. Because he's here and says, and you could be dealing with Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You could have it in your chart. They could have it in their chart. Or you could be in that energies. Both of you. But there could be a Sagittarius and a Missy situation too. But I feel like it's more like Archangel Michael. Somebody is hiding that they have gotten someone pregnant. 
Somebody is pregnant in a situation. You know, either you with their Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, mid, but somebody told it. Told it. They just fucking flat out told somebody is pregnant because the sun is highlighted and illuminating. Some of you, this kid is almost, uh, this kid is like maybe about 18 months, 15 to 18 months, maybe um, right up to two years. For others of you, you try to hide a pregnancy. That shit's going to come out. Let me tell you. Sun card is here and the world card is here. Some of you are closing out a cycle of where you have been highly promiscuous. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Some of you could have uh, high chart Aries, Lucid Aries, but you've been very promiscuous. Some of you have addictions. You don't know how to keep your dick in pants. You've around multiple people in cycles closing out on addictions. Some of you are healing these addictions. Some of these addictions have caused you to sabotage breaking your relationships. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, men, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, and Venus. <clears throat> but the world card is closing this out. You're going to go from a night to an emperor, or you could be dealing with an emperor, and this emperor is going to take control of the situation, either you or them, they're not going to tolerate that shit, they will walk, they will leave this situation, if you continue to show up like this, either you or them, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, if you show up like this, whoever this is, they're not going to stay around for it, they're going to walk, because they know who they are, and they're going to stand in their power, and emperor, he wields a lot of power, he or she, because you could be a very strong Aries woman, and you possibly have Taurus in the chart, and I'm feeling it very strongly. Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, and South Node, somewhere in their chart. But they're going to take control of a situation. They're going to take control of a situation, either you or them. There's communication coming in swiftly. Look at here. Oh, my God. There you are. Communication between your twin. There you go. Need I say it more? Taurus, Virgo, Aries, Empress, Emperor, communication. There could be blocks. There could be delays in communication between you two. This is a twin flame situation. I can't be no clearer. And this possibly could be the mother of this child. But that is some of the blockages in this relationship for you to get to your twin. Somebody is focused heavily upon finances right now. Either one of you could be married or in a long-term committed relationship with someone that is embodying the king of pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. This is somebody that is financially abundant. They're wealthy. They can have children, don't have to be. They could be married, don't have to be. They can be in a long-term committed relationship. But this is someone that is looked up to by their societal peers. This is someone people come to for wise counsel. Either you or them. But there is some level of karmic justice going on in a situation. And there could also be legal justice going on in a situation. Because I smell child support up in here too. That's the FYI. And this could be what that's about, that justice. Somebody is also trying to determine the paternity of a child too. And somebody feels stuck and trapped in a situation. Oh, and that justice card could possibly be a Libra. But somebody is feeling stuck and trapped in a situation. They created this situation by thinking that those uh, options that they had, they found out those options were illusions. And for others of you, this is all of the blocks and delays. This is what is uh, delaying your union. You got a lot on your plate that you got to clear off and you got a lot of blockages to work through for some of you. But others of you, you're in a situation, you're waiting for one more thing to drop before you can move forward towards your twin. You're feeling very emotional at a situation right now. And you could have been dealing with a karmic Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, such as yourself. This was a karmic soulmate. This was a lesson. Not to put finances above love. You chose love over finances, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This ain't going to resonate for everybody, but it'll damn resonate for somebody. Truth is coming out in the situation. Truth and clarity. That's also that baby. That shit you thought you hid is coming out. And you're finding out that now either they're spying on you or you're spying on them. But some of you also were very childish and immature in this situation. Either you or them water sign men. Yeah. You were selfish. Self-indulged. That's the addictions. That's the bad. That's the that's the toxic behavior. I'm sorry. That's the toxic behavior. Yeah, you withheld your love. And uh, you blocked your heart. You were only focused on finances. You were very selfish, either you or them. And it caused you to feel overwhelmed or burdened in a situation, either you or them. Water signs. Yeah, there was a Ten of Pentacles situation. This is the situation that was blocking. That was the karmic relationship. 
And here's the love that you really want to come together in, possibly with another, uh, with a fire, uh, with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Wow. Let's go forward, gentlemen. Water signs, sun, moon, rising, Mercury and Venus, North Node and South Node, water sign men. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You see, this is what happens when there's an unequal balance going on in a relationship. It causes a tower moment, something major to come through and change. Now you feel heartache and regret. You feel remorse for a situation. Some of you feel the shame about a situation where you were giving, you had an unequal balance of giving, give and take in a situation. Somebody was given more than the other one and it caused an imbalance and there was no reciprocity. Somebody was getting crumbs and the other one was given cake. So you could have done this or they could have done it to you, water signs. And you could have, some of you uh, specifically could have done this to your divine counterparts as well. But there you have gone through a death and rebirth and there's a change. And for others of you, there has been an actual death in the family. This could be past or present or future energies. My condolences to the family. But it caused someone to have an aha moment. This is my spiritual walking away card. This is my spiritual awakening. You have had an awakening. God has come in there and bucked you on the head and told you, follow me. It's time for you to wake up and see what you're in the midst of. You're going to become single. Or either you're going to be dealing with a single king of wands. This could be male or female energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But you can be embodying this energy too. Somebody that's very passionate that's going to come in and take action in a situation. But this could be you or them. But somebody is going to look. Or this could be whomever it is that you might have an interest in. Uh, water signs. This person is financially self-made, abundant, stable. They look good. They're smelling good. They dress well. Somebody even went out and bought a bird. Okay. All right. Birds like them, but they're passionate and they're taking action in this situation. And this is all to do with someone from their past. This could be a past life soulmate. Mm-hmm. Emperor. There you go. Could be dealing with an emperor in Aries. Water sign men, sun, moon, rising, Mercury, and Venus. Good Lord, y'all cards are popping. Yep. This was a karmic lesson because there was something toxic tied to finances. And it caused a block in your finances. Some of you could have even lost finances in this situation. And you couldn't see clearly in a decision to make a choice you felt bound and chained to something and for others of you like i said there were addictions and it could still very well be addictions that you are trying to heal but if you want those addictions to be healed all you have to do is call on your angels your ancestors your way shores and god to assist you to heal that you have an angel that's here to assist you as well so you could have felt bound and chained to a situation that was a karmic financial situation. It was teaching you how to learn to save and preserve your finances, not blow your finances. Some of you were just blowing money like water and you had no balance where your finances were concerned. You were just spending money like the world was in your hand. Like, you know, hey, I got this. I can do this. And your fear and ego side allowed you to believe so. And you weren't seeing things clearly, uh, water signs, either you or them. And somebody now, there's harsh and swift communication that's coming through. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be you. You could have this in your chart or they could have this in their chart. This could be them. It's either you or them. But um, you're going to come rushing into a situation. You want reconciliation on a situation. Either you or them, water signs. And this is involving... A twin flame situation. This is a long-term, stable, committed relationship, a marriage. For some of you, this is a long-term, committed relationship or a marriage that you're currently in. But it is a karmic relationship. But this is going to go through a death and a rebirth. Some of you, this relationship is going to die. It's meant to change because it's toxic. That's why the tower moment came in to stop it. 
And that's why you're walking away from it to become single and to remember that you're a passionate person, that you can move forward in a situation. Water sign men, sun, moon, rising, Mercury and Venus, North Node and South Node. There you are. This is your divine love. I told y'all, y'all in a twin flame situation. Not all of you, but some of you. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Others of you, this is the actual conception of that baby we talked about. What you seem to think that you're going to balance a situation out that you thought you could hide, but it did not stay hidden. That baby is going to be revealed. The sun card is here. So regardless, if you hide it, it's going to come out. Water sign, men, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, for some of you... It's more so Scorpio and it's more so Cancer and Scorpio than it is Pisces. But there are some Pisces in that have hidden a baby in a situation. And you thought you were going to keep this baby hidden from your partner, but it's not. But your partner is going to find out and this is going to bring in the tower moment and is going to kill the relationship. Others of you, you are healing. You're going through a situation where you're healing from a third party situation or something that hurts you that caused a tower moment in your relationship. And for others of you, this is going to be a complete healing of love and finances altogether. You're closing out a karmic cycle. You took a break from a situation, water signs. Because you needed to go within. So you took a star from out of the sky. You placed it in your lantern. You detached from a situation so you could go in and get clarity and guidance in a situation. You needed some wisdom. So you became the hermit and separated yourself off from a situation. You needed time away from it in order to see things more clearly because before you couldn't see things clearly. That's why the two of swords showed up in your situation. And... Now you're seeing things for the way they really are. And this is what caused you to really have heartbreak, sorrow, regret in a situation where someone was hurt. Either you hurt them or they hurt you or both people were hurt. But I'm sure all parties involved were hurt. Water sign men. And now you want a passionate new start. You're willing to work your ass off to have this relationship. And you're going to rush in like a damn banshee. You kind of bat shit crazy right about now, water sign men. Because now you realize and see what you threw away versus as what you thought that you kept was worth something. You traded, um, how is it? You traded coal for a diamond. There you go. Now you want reconciliation. Let's go forward, water sign men. This is not going to resonate for everybody, but it will resonate for somebody. Water sign men, sun, moon, rising, Mercury and Venus, north node, south node. There you go. Like I said before, balance out. Archangel Michael is here to help you balance out a heartbreak from where you've been heartbroken in this situation. Either you or them, water sign men, or both. You're manifesting truth, your intuition love, happiness. You want your divine counterpart. And Archangel Michael is here to assist you because in the past, someone was left out in the cold. You could presently be left out in the cold water signs or either you left somebody out in the cold financially and emotionally. And for some of you, you did this to your divine counterpart. Literally. Not figuratively. Literally. And it caused a break in the relationship. It caused one of you to go within Probably the divine feminine to start the journey first. But now you want a new start. You want passion. Like I said, you're willing to work your ass off to have it because you horny as fuck. You want to work this ass over time. I promise you, you do. I feel your energy, water sign. Water sign men. Sun, moon, rising. Mercury, Venus, north node, and south node. <clears throat> yeah, you're in your head over this shit. This baby situation, you in your damn head about this whole damn situation. Water sign, men. You are having sleepless nights. You got a lot of anxiety. Some of you are depressed and it's causing you to drink, smoke. It's, it's almost like it's activating your addictions, your codependencies, okay? I'm not here to judge. I'm just explaining to you what's going on. But you need to use your intuition. You can't think you can't think clearly because you're so agitated, you're so full of anxiety and worry. 
water sign men about this situation, whether or not this baby is yours or not. And there was a lot of competition, a lot of conflict, a lot of deceit, a lot of betrayal, internal, external. Some of y'all got into physical altercation and some of y'all spent nine days in damn jail. You were them water signs. Um, yeah, you went before a judge too. They demanded truth in the situation. And for others of you, this is your uh, karmic partner that's de demanding. This could be your wife, your karmic wife, or your karmic uh, girlfriend or boyfriend uh, that is demanding truth and, clar and clarity in this situation. Like, I want to know, is that baby yours or not? Let's go get a DNA test. You don't want to take no action in the situation because you don't know what the fuck to do. But God is here. This is my God card. He's illuminating your third, your crown chakra. You're having that aha moment. That's the spiritual awakening. That's the eight of cups walking away. You know, cluck on the head. Follow me. I need you to see some shit. But um, you could be dealing with a Pisces or you could have Pisces in your chart. But you're having an illuminate, an illuminating moment about a third party situation. Either you place them in water signs or either they placed you in. But somebody cut this shit the hell out. They showed up like the King of Swords. They became very logical and very uh, analytical. The emotion was blocked off. Somebody, you know, balanced it out and said, you know, I need to look at this thing real clear, crystal clear. And they said, you know, I'm cutting this third party situation out. Either you or them water signs. And somebody stood their ground. They were very adamant. They were not going to tolerate being juggled like an option. Just because you saw value in both people, you needed to make a choice. And since you didn't make a choice, water sign men, somebody made a choice for you. Even with them. But I feel it was the other person that made the choice. They refused to be an option, water sign. And it caused them to act like an Aries and take a leap of faith. Because they were tired of being backstabbed, betrayed, lied to, deceived. The two swords is the highest level of hurt. And heartbreak you can experience. And this is very painful. Because betrayal is never a good thing. Either you did this water sign men. Or somebody did this to you. But now if somebody's waiting for their ships to come in. Let's go forward for water sign men. Water signs men. Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, and Venus, North Node, and South Node. Soulmates. There it go. Look at there. That's the judgment. The Hierophant about this baby. This is court. The Hierophant or the High Priest represents tradition, family, marriages, time-honored things. Like the 4th of July... They, uh, but also, this is my legal court man, judge, lawyer, police officer. Somebody went to jail. Somebody was hoping that they get bonded out of jail behind some toxic ass shit that they thought they had hidden, but it wasn't hidden. It was exposed. And this is also my legal, uh, any legal binding contracts court. The Hierophant presides over this. So someone is going to court about a child, possibly child support. This looks like back child support to me. And a breakup. Now, somebody doesn't really want to pay. You're taking your time about paying this child support situation. You might have got legal representation because you don't feel like this baby is yours. And for some of you, you've been paying child support on this child. And you've yet to get your money back. You're still waiting. And this was all behind a soulmate relationship. This was your karmic soulmate. This was a lesson. And you were defeated. And you felt defeated in this situation. Either you or them. There's communica communication coming in about an offer. And this could be money. This is tied to money. You may be rejecting it because it's not everything that you paid out for some of you. And some of you are refusing to pay it because it's not your child. But things have yet to be illuminated in a situation. Some of you say this bitch is crazy. I don't know who she thinks she is trying to pin this baby on me. That's how y'all feeling about this Pisces or Cancer. 
But there's action being taken in this situation because you're tired of being lied to. Or you're tired of folks lying to you about a situation. And there could very well be a cancer involved in this situation. But they're moving swiftly. And they're very guarded and defensive about a situation. Either you or them, water signs. Water sign men. Sun, moon, rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, and South Node. You have stepped back from a situation and you're holding on to your finances. Water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You're blocking your heart chakra. And this could be pertaining, I'm feeling more like to your soulmate, uh, your twin flame. I feel like you're scared. And for others of you, this is you fighting off hiding money from the goddamn karmic. And this baby, that baby mama drama you got going on. Yeah, hoo -hoo, this is a karmic lesson. Your ass is learning your karmic lesson. You are embroiled in some goddamn karma. You got some major karma coming down, baby. Mm-hmm. You are in the midst of some major karma. Major karma. And it is forcing you to grow up. Because you have been showing up as a page. Some of you, either you or them. And for some of you, this is a, this is a, a half-ass grown child you're dealing with. And it's an air sign child. But you, you're learning your lesson. About how you show up in relationships, water sign men, either you or them. You got money in between karma and the world. Yeah, you got you got a real situation going on. Didn't I tell you this is a baby in this situation? Love child. There you go. Love child. Love child. Possibly with a Leo that you may have to pay child support to. Who's getting that victory in the courts? Could be you. Water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel that y'all might get victory after they prove that the baby is not yours. For some of you, that baby is yours. But for others of you, it's not. For others of you, it is not. But for some of you, that baby is yours. That's court again. Yeah, y'all got some shit going on, water signs. Water sign men. Sun, moon, rising. Mercury, Venus, north node, and south node. Jesus, the cards that came out. And I take all of my cards because you're entitled to your enti your whole story. Yep, there it go. There it goes. Ooh, wow. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. And this is all of this is clarifying. It's Knight of Wands. This is how you come through. This is the representative. Or this is that uh, karmic partner. That king of wands could be that karmic partner from your past. Past life soulmate. Or either that is the actual. No, that's I, I feel like this is the karmic soulmate. You're becoming single in this situation. You've walked away from it to become single. Because this is who you're going towards. And here you are at the bottom. Look at you. You're walking away too. Mm -hmm. Two times. That's clarification. You're walking away from a situation that was full of illusions, lies, deceit. You didn't have any real clear vision. So you couldn't make any decisive. You had too many options, too many things going on. It didn't allow you to see things clearly. It kept you trapped in a situation which brought on karmic justice in the situation. Let's go forward, water signs. Damn, y'all had a big reading. We're going to start off with the Earth Magic Oracle deck. Ha, water signs. Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, and South Node. Some of you could be definitely dealing with a fire sign. Because I like to call y'all out for fire signs instead of water signs. You got dream time and creation. So some of you are extremely creative and you're going to use your dream time to make your fruition come to reality. This is... Some of you, this is what this wish is for. And this is also what the cycle is closing out, karma. So you can move forward to your expansion. Because you're going to use your dreams to create your abundance. That's what you're wishing and you're manifesting to move forward. And you're going to release a lot of this shit by the time the fall comes. So some of this is going to clear out for you guys towards the fall. 
Let's get with the Energy Oracle deck for the water signs. Sun, moon, rot, damn. Rising, Mercury, and Venus. North node and south node. Look at you walking away. See? Keep telling you. You're walking away. Ooh, door to spirit. From a negative attachment. Look at that. Negative attachment. You see that mask? That's toxic. Door to spirit. See, you're removing the mask, water signs. You're getting clear about situations, water signs. Your eight of cups, that walking away, that spiritual awakening, water signs. It's leading you to the door of spirit because you are walking towards that door of spirit. You're walking away from toxicity, uh, things that you felt bound and chained to, things that hurt you in a situation. Now let's pull all of the cards that fell out for your reading. There was a lot of indecision in your situation water signs either you or them now you're going to take action in a situation water signs there were a lot of financial constraints god y'all had some messages water signs and this caused a lot of broken hearts in this situation water signs there was a lot of envy people were envious of you water sign and i'm not talking about that karmic relationship i'm talking about the divine re relationship you rejected some of you, that's not going to resonate for every of you, but that's a specific message. Some of you are dealing with a sun sign, a fire sign, a Leo. This could be sun, moon rising. And this could also be something, some somewhere in your twins chart, either yours or theirs. But I'm feeling strongly that this, this is in your counterpart's sun chart. There's, it's in their chart. Door to value. See, once you release all the toxicity, all of the blessings from where you've been to where you're going. See? Indecision. You finally took action because you had a lot of blockages financially. This was a karmic lesson I told you about financial constraints. You're healing a broken heart. The envy. The sun. Happiness, door to value, abundance. Once you leave this toxic situation, you get the world. Good Lord, water signs. Y'all got, y'all been through something, babies. Water sign in, sun, moon, rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, and South Node. We are using the Archangel Oracle deck. Career transition. What did I do? Look at here. I called you. Just called it out. Your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. So as you go through this and clear out all of this toxicity, babies, you're going to get a new beautiful start. Some of you may already be in a new career transition already. You may have already started on that new path. And counselor, Archangel Azrael, you are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. A lot of you gentlemen are highly spiritual, very intuitive, very gifted, very empathic, psychic. Some of you are mediums and clairvoyants. Use your gifts. I want you to like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know something that's going on. Hit that like button coming in or hit the like button out if it resonates for you. This is Ascended Twin. You can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Facebook as Nikita Kelly, Ascended Twin, as well as here on YouTube, Ascended Twin 144K. Please like, comment, subscribe, share with your family and friends. You take care of yourselves and please transition into your beautiful blessings of abundance, love, and happiness. Bye-bye for now, water signs. Damn, I want to call y'all fire signs. Y'all dealing with a damn fire sign, some of you.